Welcome to History Adventuring. This is episode number 94. I'm Brad Hall, and today I'm eating my last burger at the Chuck Box for 30 years and counting. My favorite hamburger place is the Chuck Box, which is on University and Forest in Tempe, Arizona. It's just east of Mill Avenue and just south of the art building where I spent a lot of time in the 1980s. And every time I go there, I think that this will be my last Chuck Box burger. I've been thinking that for over 30 years, and hopefully I'll be able to continue to think like that for many years to come. If you're not sure what I'm saying here, I just have to say that to me it just seems too good to be true. And it was even back when I was going to ASU. Unlike most of my friends, I didn't have much of an entertainment budget when I was going to school. I didn't go to concerts, I didn't eat at restaurants, not even fast food places. But on the rare occasion that I had some extra money, I would buy a hamburger at the Chuck Box. And the burgers were delicious beyond belief, maybe because it was such a special treat. When I graduated and moved away to California, I remember dreaming of Chuck Box burgers. I tried every place that was suggested to me, but nothing seemed to be as good. I wondered if it was just my imagination. When I visited Arizona, I always made a point to have one last burger at the Chuck Box. Tempe was growing quickly, and I knew that a little place like that couldn't last. When I moved back to Phoenix in 1989, I went to the Chuck Box, and again had my last burger, or so I thought. Over the years, I've tried to go there at least once a year. And yes, I was always thinking, this is the last burger. And then my life changed dramatically. With an injury that I'm still working on recovering from, which took away my ability to walk into the chuck box and carry a tray outside. I was devastated. Of all the things I'd lost, the loss of the chuck box seemed the worst. But my friends have rallied. I don't drive anymore. And I'll probably never be able to do the walk and carry of a big one, french fries, and a beer on a tray when I've been back to the chuck box. This is how it works. I sit outside and go into ecstasies with the aroma, and my friends go inside and bring me a big one, fries, and a beer. And yes, you guessed it, I'm always thinking that this is the last one. And maybe thinking that there would never be another one makes it that much more precious. Thank you for going to the Chuck Box with me. This has been History Adventuring. I'll talk to you later.